Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. And if you are new, my name is Lauren and welcome to my YouTube. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a new in home accessories haul. We've been purchasing a couple of little bits and bobs over the past few weeks. And I finally curated a nice amount of things to share with you. So I'm really excited to get into this. I've got some furniture, some decorative bits, some more functional pieces. And yeah, I'm very excited about it. So let's just get into it. First of all, I'm going to start with what you can see on screen already. I have got this gorgeous, gorgeous blanket to my right. This is actually from H&M Home. And I've already got one of these in the bedroom. I bought this blanket, um, God, when? Months ago, absolute months ago. I think it was last October in preparation for the new house. We knew that we were going to be moving. So I started buying a couple of little bits when I saw them and I thought this blanket would sell out so quickly. So I grabbed it straight away. It's only 24 99 so soft and it's this gorgeous like fuzzy mohair material that I absolutely love. It creates such a nice texture in your setup, but also it is really soft. It's not a scratchy blanket at all. So yesterday we went shopping and I actually picked up another one because I love having the one that we already have on the bed, but I wanted one for in here as well because I actually use it quite a lot. And it's so affordable, I thought, right, let's just get two, we can have one in each room. Okay, and the other piece that you can see in this clip is my new lamp. So this lamp has a little bit of a story to it. I have actually been working on a bit of a DIY project, which will be coming out soon. I don't think the video will be live just yet, but it will be coming out soon, don't worry. But basically, I bought a lamp from HomeSense, TK Maxx, Super affordable, I think it was £34. I mainly chose it because of the size. It's really, really big. And we're actually going to have a plinth in this corner, which is on order, so hopefully it will come this week. And this lamp is gonna sit a little bit higher. And I just wanted something really elegant and a piece that would really stand out. So I put it in this corner and I just love it. It's not completely finished yet, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Um, you can see it all in the DIY video. I'm sorry if the light keeps going in and out. I'm shooting next to the window and the sun is like in and out. It's quite windy today. So apologies if the lighting is a little bit annoying. The next new in thing that we picked up is some new curtains. And if you've been watching all the home vlogs, you will know that I have had a serious up and down journey with choosing curtains for this space. We've got a huge window here and we've also got another window just directly in front of me there. This one is a little bit smaller and I wasn't too fussed about having this one as the main window. Um, so we've got some really gorgeous thick blackout curtains over there, which I love. They're from Ikea, they're called Vilborg and I will write them in the description below. But they're so fab, we've also got them in our bedroom and we're going to have them in our spare room as well. But for this window, we wanted to have a combination of really nice light airy curtains, but also the blackout as well because we wanted to have the option of being able to completely black out the room if we want. It's such a huge window and it lets in so much light. So if for any reason we wanted blackout curtains, perhaps somebody is staying on the sofa or I don't know, we wanted to watch a film and it was still light outside, that is a really great option to have. So I found this set of curtains from H&M Home. I think they were 34 99 which for a set of curtains is incredible, especially a set of curtains like this. They could do with a really good steam. I only put them up last night, ready for this video, so um, I really do need to steam them a bit. But I just think they are so beautiful. You can see that they're a little bit sheer. They've got this gorgeous like cotton linen blend. So they're not full linen. They are um, cotton as well, but they're just super airy. They've got a really gorgeous texture to them. I really love the way that they just fall, although they are a little bit too creased. They have that really nice texture to them. The bottom is just really, really beautiful. Almost kind of like a raw, undone kind of vibe. And I just think they look perfect. Okay, next up, I've got some really gorgeous little kind of decorative slash useful bits from Zara Home. One of them being this beautiful little like caddy. And I really wanted something that I could put all the cleaning products in 
that would keep would stay under the sink and I could just grab the handle and then go around and clean. It sounds kind of like over the top actually now I'm saying that. But our cupboard is such a mess. And it was actually Jack's idea when we went into Zara home. He saw this and was like, oh my God, Lauren, this would be so good for what we want. This was £30, really gorgeous wood, so beautiful, looks really nice. This could have so many functions as well. This could also be so great in like a laundry room or if you wanted this in your wardrobe room and you wanted to have like all your accessories in here. I don't know. I feel like you could have so many purposes for this. But yeah, it's just like a little storage kind of box with a handle and I just love it. I've already been cleaning the apartment this morning and I've had all my cleaning stuff in here, just walking around. It just keeps it so much tidier and yeah, a nice little storage box. Along the lines of storage, we really desperately needed a laundry basket. We didn't have one. We were just kind of like having piles of clothes everywhere. I was just putting it in cupboards. And it's so weird. You don't think you need these things until you're actually in the situation, which is kind of why we've taken this process so slow because there's so many things you need in a house, functional, non-functional, and you don't really realize you need them until you're in the situation. So we got this laundry basket from Zara Home. I wanted one that was quite pretty because we, we were gonna have it out in our bedroom. It actually fits perfectly behind the door. So it looks gorgeous, but also it is hidden a little bit. But I just wanted a really nice wicker basket. It's got a really gorgeous linen insert as well, which is so lovely. You can actually remove this. So if you want to wash it, you can. This was $39.99. And again, from Zara Home, what I really liked about this is it's quite thin, so it's not that wide, which is really great because it slots in really nicely into little gaps. So if you wanted to have this in your bathroom or in your laundry cupboard, like we've got a cupboard with the washing machine and there is a little gap next to it, which would fit this perfectly. It's just the perfect size and there's only two of us. We don't have a whole load of washing, so we don't need a super big basket, but this is just so perfect and I absolutely love it. Next up, I went into a little shop called Tiger. I think it's called Tiger Copenhagen or something like that. Um, they're all over London as well. So I'm guessing you probably have one near you. There was one in my local town. And I really wanted a little mirror for by my dressing table. I use the windowsill in our bedroom to do my makeup in the morning and I do my hair there. So I really needed just a small mirror that I could move around, I could move it to other areas. I wanted something I could put in my bag for traveling. It wasn't too permanent. So I got this little mirror and when I first saw it, I thought, oh my God, this reminds me of the firm living mirrors because it's got this kind of like organic shape to it. Um, but then when Jack came home, he said, why have you stolen a wing mirror of a car? And then I realized actually, yeah, it does look like a wing mirror from a car because it's the exact shape, <laughs> but I still love it. And I've actually been using it quite a lot and it's brilliant, it's such a good size. It's probably like the size of my head, I would say. Perfect, perfect size. It's got a gorgeous gold rim around it so it fits really nicely with all of our aesthetic and yeah, it was super affordable. I think it was like 4 99 We don't really have many picture frames or any kind of like really homely personal touches in the flat. We've got some gorgeous things like books and vases and candlesticks and stuff like that, but we don't actually have any photographs. So I really wanted to get a nice frame, but I just haven't seen any that I liked. I wanted something really minimal and light. So we found this and I just absolutely loved it. This is from Zara Home as well. It's just this three metal, like little clear um, concertina, photo album and it's just so beautiful i just love it it's all glass gold rimmed and then you just have your pictures kind of like floating in the space i just think it's so pretty this was 22.99 which i think is so great for something like this and such a lovely gift as well you can also put um photos in each side so I'm probably going to have three this side, three this side, have them all black and white. And I think photo frames just add a really nice personal touch to your home. Another kind of practical thing that I wanted was a stand for my iPad. I use my iPad quite a lot in the kitchen when I'm cooking. I use recipes and I have videos on and stuff like that. I picked up this really cute little stand and I think you can actually probably use this for books. It's probably designed for cookbooks in the kitchen or something like that. But... Um, 
I got this mainly for my iPad. I just absolutely love this. It's brushed gold, really similar to the photo frame, and I just really, really love it. I think this was about $7.99 as well, which is really, really great. So obviously a lot of the things in our apartment are very white, very cream, super airy, and I do really like darker tones. You know that we've got our wooden side table. We've got a couple of elements that are a bit darker that just ground the space. So I really wanted to get a dark lamp for the hallway. I picked up this one from Dunelm. I actually got this quite a while ago, um, but I'm not sure if I've shared it with you before. I just love it. I think this was about 40 pounds. It's this really big base, kind of like a mottled concrete effect. It's like a dark brown, gorgeous, gorgeous linen lampshade. You can tell I've got a thing for linen lampshade. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you might remember in a vlog recently, I showed you a new clothing rail that I bought. Well, that clothing rail actually broke and I did say to you guys, I'm on the hunt for a new one. I actually found this clothing rail from the exact same company, um, I did get it on Amazon, but the company um, just stocks on Amazon. And it's got the same finish, it's exactly the same metal, very similar with the geometric shapes, but a little bit more of a practical style. So it's gonna be quite tricky for me to show you, but this is the base of the rail. So it's just a huge circle, and then it's got a bar across the middle, which obviously works really well to make sure it's stable. When you've got clothes on here, this is gonna really make sure that it doesn't fall over, because that's what happened with my last rail and that's why it broke. And then the top of the rail has just got this gorgeous little minimal bar here which is where you can hang your clothes. I absolutely love this and I have actually been using it over the last week just to hang all my new in bits on there and I love it. It's so practical. It fits in really well into the corner of a room, into even a wardrobe. It's so good and looks so chic. I just love it. I'll link everything below and you can just go down into the description, click on the link and see all the prices and everything like that. But last but not least, the final thing I really want to share with you is my new chair. I absolutely love it. I'm sitting on it right now. So I'm just gonna get up and show you. It is this beautiful boucle chair. It's kind of like a cocoon chair and it's so lightweight. So I can actually move it around. I can move it room to room. It's so versatile. Just a gorgeous cream boucle cocoon chair. It's so comfortable, I cannot tell you. I've sat in this every night and I just absolutely love it. I'm actually going to be purchasing another one so that we've got two in our space opposite to just create a really nice little formal living space. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get two little sheep chairs. So that brings me to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching as always. I really hope you enjoyed this little updated homeware haul. I will definitely be doing more of these along the way and there is also going to be a part two of my Amazon haul coming soon as well. There's just a few more bits that I'm hunting for. When I've collected a good amount of things, I will then film it, but I've got some really good bits to show you, so I'm quite excited about that. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, it would mean the world, and do like this video so I know that you are enjoying the content at the minute, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!